an even function f of x is said to be an even function if when you replace x with negative x it actually doesn't change the function in other words if you get what you started with f of x but f of x is an odd function if when you replace x with negative x you actually get the opposite of what you started with and the function can be neither even nor odd take a look at this function f of x equals x cubed minus the cube root of x okay now what I'm going to do to test this to see whether it's even or odd I'm going to replace x with negative x and let's just see what shakes out so if we replace x with negative x I get negative x quantity cubed minus the cube root of negative x well if you cube negative x you actually get negative x cubed and to simplify the cube root of negative x you can write that as the cube root of negative 1 times x and the cube root of negative 1 is just negative 1 so I can take that out of the radical and so now I have minus negative 1 which makes it plus cube root of x so I end up with minus x cubed plus cube root of x now let's compare that with what we started with notice that we started with x cubed minus cube root of x and we ended up with minus x cubed plus cube root of x which is just the opposite of what we started with so in other words when I replaced x with negative x it gave me minus the original function minus f of x so therefore in this example f of x is an odd function now on this function we have x to the fourth minus 5x squared plus 3 now let's test this and see if it's even or odd by replacing x with negative x if I put negative x in here I get negative x to the fourth power and when you raise a negative to the fourth power it becomes positive so that's going to be positive x to the fourth and then if I replace x here with negative x I get minus 5 times negative x quantity squared and when you square negative x you get positive x squared so minus 5 times x squared is what I get there and then just bring down the 3 so you'll notice now that when I replaced x with negative x in this function I actually end up with x to the fourth minus 5x squared plus 3 which is exactly what the original function was so we can say that f of negative x is actually equal to f of x so therefore f of x is an even function now you may realize that if you do this with polynomials you'll find that polynomials like this one if all of the exponents are even like this is x to the fourth minus 5x squared and even the 3 can be thought of as 3 times x to the 0 power so therefore all the variables have even exponents then you can tell this is an even function but you can't always tell it's an even function by doing it that way because there are other functions that like trigonometric functions or exponential functions or log functions that don't have exponents like these and so you actually have to apply this particular test to determine if the functions even or odd now here's one that's neither even nor odd this function x squared minus x if you replace x with negative x you're going to get x squared minus negative x which is x squared plus x and that doesn't equal the original function that we started with nor does it equal the minus opposite of the function that we started with so this function is neither even nor odd now one thing that um, that you might be interested in is is that even functions actually are symmetric with respect to the uh, y-axis and odd functions are symmetric with respect to the origin so for instance this odd function would be symmetric with respect to the origin and this function since it's even would be symmetric with respect to the y-axis